and I thought I would show you 10 uses for leftover whey when you make cheese or even yogurt. Hey guys, this is Brie from Martin Brie and I just made some really delicious queso fresco and I thought I would show you 10 uses for leftover whey when you make cheese or even yogurt. So what is whey anyway? Whey is this yellowish cloudy liquid left over when you make cheese or yogurt. And there are just so many um, proteins and vitamins and minerals and even enzymes in whey. So it is almost like a superfood. You do not want to just dump this down your drain. There are lots of very simple things you can do with this. One of them being you could just freeze it. You could just freeze it for later. Another one is you could just put in your compost bin. You know, that would be, at the very least, um, not dumping it down the drain. There are two different kinds of whey, acid whey and sweet whey. You're going to get acid whey whenever you make a cheese using vinegar or lemon juice, like I just did with this queso fresco. But with soft cheeses or cheeses made with rennet or yogurt, those cheeses are considered a sweet whey. So obviously you want to be a little bit discerning which whey you use and which suggestion I'm about to give you because obviously the acid way could alter the flavor of the various foods you might want to put it in. You can use whey in any recipe at all that calls for water, just as a water replacer. You could boil your noodles, oatmeal, um, rice, anything like that in whey. You could add whey to smoothies and give it just a nice boost. Also, if you have ever followed the Weston A. Price method of eating, or then you would know of this cookbook, Nourishing Traditions. And if you haven't heard of it, I highly recommend getting this cookbook. I'll put a link in the description of where you can find it. Anyway, in this cookbook, it is highly recommended to soak all of your grains and legumes in water overnight. And usually you would add something like lemon juice or whey, just a little bit, and it would ferment those things before you eat them. And it makes them much more digestible to the human body. So you can save your whey and use it to soak all of your grains and legumes. Another use for whey would be to water your plants. Just make sure you dilute it or it could burn your plants. But think about all the awesome nutrients you would be giving to your plant. You could put it in any soup or stew. Another great use for whey would be to make lacto-fermented veggies like kimchi, sauerkraut and things like that and of course you can always feed it to your animals your dogs your cats your chickens and it will just give them an extra boost of nutrients okay so remember don't throw your way down the drain use it up eat it up drink it up and get all of those wonderful nutrients into your body I hope this video helped you a little bit and inspired you a little bit I highly recommend getting nourishing traditions and learning more about the great uses of whey, how to make raw cheese and yogurts, how to effectively soak grains and make lacto-fermented foods, and just have overall healthier eating habits. Hope you guys have a great day. See you in tomorrow's video.